Good afternoon, Boat Club. Happy June. It's June 1st. It is the afternoon. And I should say, happy Memorial Day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I know that I did. Uh, this leads me to the very first topic of how the weekend went down. Uh, those of you who uh, joined us on Saturday <laughs> might have experienced some of this. It was a really good turnout. The weather was fine, you know. We a lot of people didn't show up, I think, because they're fair weather fans. But I got sunburned. I mean, it was intermittent, but mine was great. Was it windy? Do you guys know anybody here? So that was a good time. Uh, thanks for everybody who came out. There does appear to be a need and a want to do this more frequently. So I'm trying to set something up to where maybe it's a once a month Saturday raft up, uh, likely in the same location in Sail Bay. That seems to be an ideal spot from a wind block standpoint. We might even be able to get this thing closer to shore. I have a couple ideas where we could use uh, you know, those roll out lily pads and actually make a bridge to the shore so people who don't necessarily have boats might even be able to join us. So um, uh, that's, that's Memorial Day, um, opening day weekend was um, quite good. I, I was pleased with everything in the, in the concert as well. Uh, next on my mind is um, operations, so I have something I'm really excited to tell you guys about. Based on my comments, I think from the last couple of briefings, you know that I'm really focusing now on our operations, our membership growth, and our just our club participation has grown, and it's really important that we grow the operation to meet the needs of the members. So with that said, uh, I would be thrilled to introduce you to our new galley manager. Say hello to Eddie Singleton. Amy and I are pretty sure we have a really good match. One of the things that's so important uh, for the boat club right now is to be organized. We, we got to grow. We got to get better. We need to have our ducks in a row. And uh, Eddie is uh, ex-military. In fact, I, I think he's an Iraq veteran. Uh, I'm going to let him tell you his background. Uh, he, with any luck, he starts tomorrow, should be around Friday night. Now, he'll he's still going to be getting his arms around this thing, but when you get an opportunity, please uh, swing by the galley, say hello to Eddie. Um, so that's uh, primarily what was on my mind today. I would like to talk a little bit about today, tonight, and this weekend. Now, many of you know uh, that tonight, not only is it Whiskey Wednesday, but Jake Allen will be in the house. I don't know if you guys really appreciate this level of talent on a weekday. And it has a lot to do, of course, with uh, our club and how we're connected musically. And, you know, all the, all the people who make up the membership have, you know, this is just one of the weird benefits, I think. Jake was, uh, he's on the West Coast performing at... NAM, I want to say. It's a, a guitar show event in Los Angeles. And he's gotten into a habit of calling us and saying, hey, you want me to come play? So Jake Allen will be playing this evening. Uh, I am on vacation, but I'm not out of town, so I intend to be there. Also, check out the Friday night gig. I don't know if you guys read this. You know, um, once again, I'm super... Uh, blown away by the level of talent that is coming through the boat club. But I encourage you to go to the website and read this. Um, Jerry Rainey uh, is from the Beat Farmers. Uh, 
He has international audiences. Uh, there were six uh, album releases over numerous tours. Uh, and he received a, a lifetime achievement. He's a lifetime achievement honoree from the 2021 San Diego Music Awards. So that is, I mean, that is pretty spectacular. Oh, and by the way, he's playing with Jack Butler. Uh, many of you know him, I think, from private domain. So, I don't know. You get these two guys playing together on Friday night. Uh, I would just encourage you not to miss it. So, on Saturday, Sunday, don't forget, it's uh, uh, you can go down and get your boater card certificate. Uh, come down in the morning. We're, we're providing donuts and... Um, and um, coffee and so on. You get down, I, I, uh, looks like it is, um, I don't know, it goes, check-ins 8.30. It's done, I think, at, at 11 o'clock or something of that nature. So I'm going to make this one quick. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get another one coming next week that's got uh, a little bit more details and operations. I don't have numbers yet for May. Uh, I'm anticipating that to be pretty good. But anyway, we're getting our stuff together. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, we did have a we had a deckhand uh, helping us out last weekend. Uh, you know, we're doing barback stuff. Uh, he's helping. He's been trained how to set up and tear down the stage and work the front gate and things of this nature. So we're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting really close to uh, having a very consistent, smooth operation that hopefully continues to deliver the member experience that we want. So thank you guys for bringing the good energy and the nice comments, uh, the, you know, the, the criticisms and the, uh, the notes are all heard. Uh, you can keep them coming. Uh, I get a face full of them, but, uh, but that's how we get better. Um, give us a couple of weeks to get our new galley manager onboarded and before you start to see probably real changes there or in improvements. And this is all supplemental too. So as good as we were is the base, the, the starting point, right? Now we hopefully get to the next level up. That's all I got. Appreciate you guys and we'll see you down at the club.